We have a full two terabytes of NVMe storage right here for about 79 bucks. Crazy, right? Let's talk about it. All right, welcome back to the channel. So what I'm gonna show you today is I'm, I'm gonna have a whole lineup of these 11 hard drives, and I'm just gonna show you more of this one here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a quick overview of all the rest of them. I've been using these for years, and I'm not gonna give you a review of this. I'm just gonna tell you how they've worked for me. They've worked actually very good, phenomenal. They've been very good drives for me. People are gonna have all different kinds of reviews. They have all reviews online, and they all seem pretty good, so do your own research. I'm just showing you what's available and showing you what I'm gonna to build today. So the first, this is the star of the show for this video, though. And this is basically gonna be the JPS 600. This is going to be an NVMe drive, and obviously it's pretty fast. Now, it's not going to be the fastest. This is obviously the cost. It's under 80 bucks, two full terabytes right here. That's pretty incredible, right? I mean, think about that for a second. But basically, it's, it, let me just see what they say here. They say it's 3,000 megabytes per second on the reads and then 1,700 on the writes. So it's not gonna be the fastest as far as NVMe drives are concerned, but it's about 79 bucks. And so what we're gonna do in this video, as soon as I go through the rest of these, is I'm gonna show you, how, I'm gonna build an enclosure, a super rugged enclosure here with this drive and show you how you can add two terabytes of space to your, like your Mac or even your PC for really inexpensive, basically, and show you how fast that is. So stay tuned for the speed test and, and showing this enclosure and everything over here, and uh, we'll go from there. Just going down the line, though, really quickly, I just wanna show you some of the rest of these things. Actually, before I do that, we'll, we'll come back to this in a second. So let's just go down the rest of these. So this next one over here is kind of their flagship, which you can't even buy right now. I can't find it anywhere. Tell me in the comments if you guys find it. I'll have links to all the other stuff in, for Amazon in the video description, but this one I can't even find right now. This is the JPS 800, two terabytes right here, NVMe drive. It's basically a Gen, uh, this is their Gen 4 drive. This over here is compatible with Gen 3 and Gen 4 enclosures. This one right here though is gonna be Gen 4. This has up to 5,000 megabytes per second on the reads and 4,400 on the writes. So this one's a lot faster. And I can't get a price for you on this one, but it's gonna be fairly inexpensive, just like all these other ones. This next one down the line here is, this is the JM600 right here. This is a, N, it's a M.2, but it's only a SATA. It's not NVMe, it's SATA right here, M.2 SATA. So it's basically, just keep in mind, it's not, it's not a 2.5 inch like these, it's, it's an M.2. And this one, again, is, I gave you the, the model there, the JM600. This is one terabyte only, but still, it's $41.99 for one terabyte. $41.99, and that's an M.2 drive. And then as we go down the list, these are two and a half inch drives, right? So if you wanna just get some basic storage, these are pretty incredible. So the next one down the line here, this is the JS600, I believe, right here, one terabyte. I'm gonna put a link up here, you guys can look at the screen, but 38, what is it, 38.99 for a one terabyte drive right now. How cheap are we getting? 38 bucks right here. And then this next one's the Pro model. It's basically the same drive. Let me go over here, and this is the JS600 Pro. And it's again, 2.5 inch on this one. So it's a 2.5 inch drive. And this one's 43.99 for one terabyte. So that's still a great deal. And that's the difference here is the pro version has DRAM on it. So it's got a DRAM cache. This one doesn't over here. And the reason is, is it's a little bit more expensive and on the same time. So this is good for like just basic storage. If you're gonna run like an OS or something, you'd probably wanna get the pro version. All right, so I've gotten through all of them. And this is really the star of the show here. So let me just talk a little bit more about this driver we're gonna be using for this test. Here, I'm gonna put up the statistics as I'm talking, but again, this is up to, well, if you just look at it, it's Gen 3 and Gen 4 M.2 drive, and it's up to 3,000 megabytes on the, the reads, 1,700 on the writes. It's got 7,600 operations per second on the reads and writes as well. And uh, you can see everything else here, uh, obviously, as you need to. Now, the cool thing about this drive is, and I'll show you close-ups of it, it comes in basically with its own, I don't know if it says it right on here, it has its own like kind of thermal pad, or th not pad, but it's a metal, it's a cooler, I guess, and it's built into the, the, the drive. So if you're gonna be adding it to some kind of an enclosure like this, you gotta make sure it's gonna fit. And uh, this one does, so I'm gonna show you this in a second. So I'll show you close-ups, but it's a little bit thicker, and it's got like a metal piece that really cools us really good. And I'll tell you that how that's gonna come out in a second. But at overall, the drive, you can see pictures of it. So what we're gonna do with this drive, and then I'm gonna do the speed test and everything else, for this really inexpensive, what is it, under $80, two terabyte drive, is we're gonna go ahead and pair it here. So this is gonna be the quiz, I guess I call it the quiz lab. It's, uh, I'll put up the name of it right here. You can, actually, let's just go to the webpage. Here it is right here, it's 34 bucks. And uh, this thing is like a tank, first of all. It's called a rugged enclosure. And the reason I love this thing so much is it's got a couple of different features on it. Obviously, it's got this orange thing around it, which is padding. It's got like military grade, and I'll get into that in a second as far as the hardness of the metal on it. 
It comes with its own cord over here that actually kind of looks like a carabiner, but it's actually the cord. But I, I usually just use my own cord because this isn't really long enough. This is good for like a laptop or something. And, uh, but I just use, I have my own cord coming out of here as far as connecting it, USB-C. This is a 10 gigabit per second enclosure as well. So theoretically, you can only get up to 1,250 megabytes per second on any of these drives. So this one's gonna be fast enough than what we're gonna be testing. And uh, you know, at the end of the day though, you're probably gonna get less than that because of overhead like always. So keep that in mind. The other thing cool about this thing is it's just, let me just get into this. It's, it's basically IPS rated once you get everything in here. IPS 6 rated, IPS 6.6 6 rated for dust and water resistant. And it's also rugged and solid. It says it surpasses the US military test of dropping it. I guess the mill standard 810G absorbs being dropped 26 times from 48 inches without any damage for all it's worth. And it is, you can drive a car over this. It says crash resistant up to two tons. And I do believe it. It's like, it's like bulletproof, trust me. It's one of the hardest metals I've ever felt in an enclosure. So as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and let's just take a look, kind of go through this. You just basically seed this into the actual drive. The drive goes into the enclosure, very simple. Four screws, what is it? Six screws come out of it and then you seat it in there. The cool thing, I just had to make sure it fit because this, this drive over here has an extra kind of thermal um, part of it on top of the actual drive. And what makes this so good is I actually added the thermal pad to this as well. And now it really gets in there tight and touches that metal, that really thick metal. And this thing runs just dirt. It's so cool. Like it doesn't even get warm when you're running it. So that's pretty amazing for an NVMe drive. And uh, overall, I think that's like a huge positive here because Obviously, a lot of these things do overheat and they get really hot, but with this drive and this enclosure, it doesn't. So let's get into some of the speed tests now. Again, so all in you're here, you know, all in, let's just talk about this. You know, you got the 80, what, 80 bucks, and I, it's like 115, 114 bucks for two extra terabytes of storage if you're gonna be adding this to your Mac. And uh, if you wanna do it for your PC, that's just fine as well. So uh, you can do, it's gonna work for both of them. You just have to format the drive correctly and, uh, and then basically you're all set. All right, so let's go ahead and format this. I'll have my screen shared here. I basically wanna go ahead and erase the drive here. I'm gonna name it what, you know, just obviously pick something that makes sense to you. I'm gonna name it the Levin, name of the company, the JPS 600. So go ahead and I'm gonna, now I'm gonna use the format of APFS here. Obviously, if you're, if you're you know, that, that's usually for a Mac, but if you're gonna be running something like a PC also, and you want it to go between both of them, you can go ahead and choose, let me just see here, XFAT right here. So XFAT will work as well, but I like to do APF, APFS if you're gonna be using it just on the Mac. So once this is all set, you wanna click erase. Obviously make sure you're only, you're picking the correct drive. You'll erase your entire system if you pick the wrong drive here. So make sure you're picking the correct drive when you actually plug it in here. But as you can see, it's gonna go ahead and format perfectly fine here. And let's just let this finish here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click done. So once we're done with this, let's just see what comes out here. Now let me go back over here at 11. This is the one I just formatted. You can see it's 2.05 terabytes. And uh, there's the volume right there. So overall, pretty cool. That's how you format it. All right, let's run a speed test now. And here we go. So let's take a look at this. 812 on the writes. And uh, what is that? 813 on the reads. So pretty amazing right there as far as a speed test. Overall, you can see that that's actually very, very quick for this type of a drive. I mean, we're getting over 800 megabytes per second on the reads and the writes on this thing. Through the enclosure, of course, and you can't complain, obviously, two terabytes of storage for under 80 bucks. That's actually really fast. All right, so for this next test, you can take a look at my screen over here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this file. It's about 4.05 gigabytes, so pretty big file. I don't know how many people are gonna be using files bigger than that. Um, most cases, obviously you can in some cases. Opening up the Levin drive right now, this watch. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Let's drop it right now. It's dropped in, so one, two, three, four, five, about four to five seconds. It's So about four to five seconds, which makes a lot of sense there. 800 divided by that four, about four to five seconds. So there you go. So overall, this drive's pretty fast. I just wanted to show you basically copying some large files and how quick this thing can do it. It's pretty fast overall. So at the end of the video, I just wanted to show you you know, you pick and pick up some of these inexpensive drives and the, you know, I, some of the drives, like I said, like this one right here, which is just a two and a half inch, it doesn't have any DRAM in it. You know, that may not be a great drive for, you know, an OS or something, but just for backup stuff, just like what I'm doing here. This whole line of drives works really well. Take a look at them all and I'll have links to all this in the description. This enclosure, when you kind of pair it with that, is it's just, you can take this anywhere you want. And again, it's military grade, you can drop this thing, you can put it in your bag, throw it in your bag. I mean, nothing can get into this. It's seated in there super well. The drive is kind of, 
you know, just crushed in there as far as the way it should be as far as the thermal pad. So there's no movement whatsoever. So I really feel like I could drive over a couple times with my car and nothing would happen to this thing. And you just, it just gives you a good sense of feeling when you're throwing that into your bag and traveling with it and doing your video editing on it. It's fast enough at 800 megabytes per second to do 4K editing, anything like that on the drive. So, you know, when you're talking 110 bucks with the, with the enclosure, not even a cheap enclosure, this is pretty, you know, a more expensive one compared to some of the cheap ones you can get for like 15 bucks. This one's at $34. So it's not bad overall. And uh, basically, here's the box. I just want to show you the box really quickly of that enclosure. I do a lot of different drives and stuff. I just did a Kodak drive. Check out that video. Kodak makes ISSD drive too. And I had a super cheap enclosure, but that was more for fun. This is something that I would trust just like, again, for doing basic backups, for video editing on stuff. Obviously, where, you know, I probably, well, of course, I would run my OS off this, but I just don't. I, I use a lot of these just for, you know, doing these backup tasks and stuff like that because they are incredibly inexpensive and I've had zero problems with them whatsoever. So at the end of the day, I always say, you know, you just don't want to spend more money than you really have to. Um, if you're running something super important, majorly important, you know, Samsung and those type of companies are very good companies as well. But overall, I have no problem with these drives. And, uh, you know, definitely check out them. Do your research on them. Check out the reviews. They're all in the four, you know, mid fours and out of five and stuff. So a lot of people like them. And you just got to kind of pick the one that makes sense for you depending on the speed, the DRAM level and things like that. All right, I'm going to wrap up the video. I hope everyone likes these kind of videos where I kind of just get into stuff and start building stuff and uh, just showing you, you know, buy this and buy this, put them together, and that's what's going to happen. And that's the kind of videos I like to make because it always shocks me when something works that's inexpensive or something sometimes doesn't. And then, I, you know, obviously I have a lot of things that work. I haven't had too many that I haven't have it work really well, but if there is one that happens, I will put it on here for sure, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll talk to everybody soon in a couple weeks here. Talk to you in a little bit. Peace.